Oh my god. <laughs> Here comes more cheese. Here comes more cheese. Let me switch it. Here we go. Game number two. Wargaming pay to win versus OP. The first match of round 16 has went to OP. It I can't say it was clean, but they were they were dominating Wargaming Pay to Win quite good. It was an astonishing performance by OP and Wargaming Pay to Win, just like AAO, on that side, uh, on Tears of the Desert, just failed to find a solution to actually uh, make it happen. They had some plays, but it didn't actually pay off. And the OP has managed to take the game number one with a huge advantage right now. The the current uh, kings of the sea well the kings of the sea of the previous king of the sea the king of the sea 5 are right now in danger of being uh well pushed out of the tournament already in the round of 16 because they are now down one game so we are into the game number two if wargaming pay to win loses this it is all over for them it is all over for them and the next quarter finalists are going to be OP. However, if the Wargaming Pay to Win manages to snatch out of it, we are going into the game number three because this is the best of three after all. Let's take a look. I already see some cheeses happening. We have a Montana and a Kerfist again. Haku pretty standard. Triple Hindi, double Moscow and a Gearing. And now OP going with double Montana. One Des Moines, so only one radar. Oh, actually, a Moscow is here as well. Double Hindi, double Zao, no destroyers. They are going going on uh, sleeping giant with no destroyers we saw what that meant last time a was a was a death trap b was never to be taken from this side and c fell eventually but they didn't manage to make it work from this side however wargaming pay to win does have one destroyer and basically well, we'll we'll see what they will do. We'll see what they will manage to pull off. Oh, Skulking Ferret already under fire there, being spotted by the planes, but dodges that pretty neatly. Uh, for OP, we have a Zao and a Montana going A, a Moskwa, Zao, Hindi, and a Montana going C. Uh, I would I was I wanted to say, very curious to see where the destroyer is going to show up but there is no destroyers for op they are in with a massive cheese so i'm very curious to see how how do they um expect to get a hold of the caps what is their what is op's plan to actually i would very much love to be on the op size at this point uh, just to see what are their initial deployment is just to see what wh where are they actually going? What is their play? What is their plan? Because they have no destroyers and they don't have a single Minotaur So all those sneaky ships I think they're just gonna go all in at this point and just try to brawl it down and screw the cap screw the points We're gonna try to take down all the ships and they brought two radars and they are up against two radars, but those two radars don't mean much because no DDs. We'll see. General Olsen dropping the first smoke screen quite wide for a Hindi. We got a pretty, pretty big squad here of uh, a Kerfirst, a Moskwa, which is a radar, double Hindi and a gearing. So they got it all. They got a radar, defensive AA, strong AA, smoke screens, hydros. They got it all covered, but they're not going even remotely close to CCAP. Uh, no one is even trying to make any plays on B. That's like a no-go zone. And the Hindenburg, Montana, Zao have been spotted from OP going into A. Against Hindi, Moskwa and Montana from Wargaming Pay to Win. So it's 3-on-3. Three three. It is 3-on-3 three three so far. But this Hindi, this Hindi is kind of separated from the flock. And the carrier will try and make a play. The carrier is gonna try and say like, okay, this is my chance. That is a Hindenburg, of course. Oh, I think he's giving up. I think he's giving up. You can see those planes dropping down like flies. That is most likely a defensive AA triggered by the Garantor. And he literally cleaned those torpedo planes even from that big distance. You can just imagine what would have happened to those planes if they actually tried to went all in. But that... that um, He's right now out of defensive AA, most likely, so he's now open for business. Meantime, Skulking Ferret losing a third of his HP and on fire on three separate locations. Hello! That is Repair Kid gone. That is another fire immediately. 
Oh, that is massive problem for Skulking. That is massive problem for Ferret. He is healing right now, but oh boy. There is no smoke screens for Wargaming Pay to win on this side. There is no way for this guy to break vision besides just... It's a Moskva, you don't want to turn aside. There's a Montana there ready to punish you and, uh, you know, Sao Hindi, those APs hurt like hell. So the best thing this guy can do is just keep sailing backwards and uh, hope for the best at this point. Hope for the best, but those planes are sure as hell gonna keep him spotted and they have a pretty easy job because he's on permafire. He is on permafire and they are smelling the blood in the ocean. Let's take a quick look in the on the other side right now. Everything is looking quite steadily. Maseru going alone and exposing himself once again. Here come some shots. Mm, no big deal, actually didn't do anything. B is still left for no man. That is a no man's land. <laughs> But now the the wargaming pay to win has managed to take uh, take a hold of C cap. That is the first first cap uh, in this match being capped, and that is of course due to wargaming pay to win having their only destroyer being de uh, deployed over there. That is literally the only DD in the entire match, so he will naturally take uh, take C. And now the only question is, do they send them to even try take B, or do they just keep him on this side? Because one cap is enough. For this game to go in their favor slowly but one cap is not gonna be enough if the enemy team decides to do a heavy pushing and the enemy team well the op let's not call them enemy team jesus it's op team oh the moin is spotted the moin is spotted trying to go oh boy oh boy they need eyes they need eyes on this the moin it is now or never if he gets a hold of a it's going to be hard to push him out Oh, where are the planes? There he is. There he is spotted. Is the Montana ready to shoot? No, she is most definitely not. Especially not the front turrets. She's turning now. I'm guessing they will order the carrier to do some suicide scout. No, never mind. Never mind. The Hindi's giving it a side. It's like, where are you going, buddy? Oh! <laughs> oh my lord! Do not show the side! Zhao goes down! Oh my lord, where the hell did the Zhao go down? They've taken the Zhao down on this side. Hello! Wow! In a matter of seconds, the game has completely been flipped! The game has completely been flipped! The Hindi was down to 8000 HP, now he's using the heal and he's up to 16 and now he's got a bail! He's got a completely bail! And this group that was uh, that was pushing is all of a sudden on a back footing, it's still 4 versus 3, but that guy's gotta be very very careful. They did manage to take a hold of A, but now this demon is getting shelled from two sides. Oh my lord, that is not a good position to be in. He's gonna need to find a much better position. And I'm thinking, like, here would be a lot better. Because maybe this island will provide him the cover from the front, and this island will provide him the cover on the side. But that means exposing yourself from here to here, on this side, and on this angle. This Des Moines needs to find a way to stay undetected. He did take A, and he did force the enemy forces to go all the way to I and J line right now. Also, I'm hoping their carrier realizes that he might need to step off a bit. Uh, now the, the the most important thing for OP is not to overextend, and the most important thing for Wargaming Pay to Win is to find a way to actually utilize these punishments that they just inflicted heavily on OP. That is literally a Zhao down on one side and Wargaming Pay to Win very very low on HP on the other side with that Hindi. General Olsen definitely tried to make a play there on B, I'm guessing getting spotted by the planes right now? Uh, is the Moskva even in radar range? No, maybe th maybe there was a radar. Maybe there was a radar for from Moskva and that is heavily paid. There is no way they are gonna send this General Olsen is gearing right now back into B. One salvo and he's out of the game and the only advantage that they had, which was a DD, is now out the window. It's still there, but there's no heals coming up for that DD. I have been seeing massive, massive... Uh, broadsiding hits from uh from people just sailing broadsides in their hindenburgs like 
You can't sail a broadside. It's a pretty tanky cruiser, but don't give side to battleships. They will hurt you. They will punish you heavily for it. They could have definitely worked out without that. But right now, the OP is sitting on one cap. Wargaming Pay to Win is sitting on one cap. Um, and they're both kind of try to make, trying to make some plays. Although you can see the Wargaming is being a bit more aggressive. As about 60% of map control right now. Um, if they can find a way to box OP in and start giving those uh, broadsiding shots into the OP ships, they might pull this back. But right now, they are they are kind of on the back footing. I don't know. I mean, if you look at the HP and the ship dead, Wargaming Pay to Win is standing, standing much better. Um, but the points are heavily in the favor. Is that Zal really going to do that? Oh boy, no one to spot his? No one to spot this? No one to punish it? At first I thought it was a Des Moines, but it turns out... It turns out it is... Uh oh, that's a Montana shell, it's coming. Ooh, that's a big chunk of HP gone. People love giving broadsides to each other. It's like Merry Christmas to everybody. Wargaming pay to win is is a lot better on HP and it does have one more ship, but they are down on points and We are more than halfway through with this game It is now less than nine minutes left to go the points are ticking very very slow It's only two points per tick and they're going up Simultaneously so unless someone can take B and put the pressure on the other team. This game is going to continue to go slow for at least probably a few more minutes. But then it's going to come down to the one last push. And Wargaming Pay to Win is on the back foot when it comes to points. So they need to make a play. They need to make a play. And OP is starting to wither them down on the HP. If they can't make any kills to bring the score a bit more even, they're going to be in a significant problem. Uh, with, with half HP ships pushing into the open and grabbing B or just boxing themselves in here and taking A. I, I don't know. The OP has completely abandoned one side and I'm guessing that these two Hindenburgs are now going to be doing the heavy pushing. No? No, they're completely not interested in doing any pushing, which is very surprising. With a bit of AA, uh, with a bit of fighter support, they could be... Sticking together and not be a threat to the carrier. I mean, the, th the carrier wouldn't be a threat to them, so... And they could be punishing these guys pretty heavily, and that's the play. That's the play that they could utilize right now. Sending these two Hindis, getting rid of that Moskwa would open... Would open B for business for the Destroyer, which is still alive and clinging on a couple of thousand of HP here and just waiting. They take down the Moskwa, they try to force... The ship's a bit closer to B, they put the gearing in there with a the smoke, they get B, they're starting to catch up on points, and they took some points down and gained some points from the OP by killing the small squad, and then the Hindi would definitely have to start running away, or the OP would have to start pushing heavily to get this back, but I don't know, I don't know, we'll see if these Hindis realize what they need to do, they are... Okay, they, are, they have turned around and they're now making a play, but it's going to be hard. Remember, the closer you box these ships together, the bigger the firepower they have to whoever they decide to shoot at. So, very curious to see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's a repair. Mm. Autotech in the Moskwa. Oh my god, he might go down. This is not looking too good for Wargaming Pay to Win. They cannot afford to lose another ship. I mean, that would be their first ship, but they're so low on points that losing a ship could be putting them significantly on the back footing. However, they are starting to harass the Moskva. Just as I predicted, these two Hindus are now starting to pay off from themselves, finally. The only question is, can they save somehow this Moskva? Although, I don't see how. I don't see how that Moskwa is probably gonna go down. The only question is, can they pull this Moskwa back in return? And I do believe they can. I think A to the K or Autotech, as we like to call them, is probably gonna go down. That's a fire that he's not putting out, and there's more shells coming. 600, 400, 280. BAM! Oh boy.
that's a Moskva down. And now there's one ship dead apiece. One ship dead in each team. And the Wargaming Pay to Win still doesn't have a proper plan of uh, coming back into this. They need the kills. They need the kills. This Des Moines needs to find a way to definitely hide. Five minutes left. You can see that these maps that only give you two points per tick if you only have one cap apiece. The, the time will run out sooner before you actually cap each other out, unless there's a lot of killing from one side. And there's actually not. There's been just one casualty on each side. And the HP bars are looking very skinny. Very skinny. Whoever... Oh my god, I think that's gonna be Des Moines dead! Oh, 4,000 HP! Oh, 3,000 HP! Oh my lord! Saved by that little hill there. Saved by the bears. Uh-oh. Is there any shots coming in? No, I think he's now finally in the proper position to not get shelled. And he might have some heals left. I don't know. Ooh, Maseru in his, in his curve first is getting shelled to death here. He's not flooding or burning. But couple of hits and he's gonna die. Oh, that's a ricochet. That's a couple of ricochets. Here comes the HE. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Well, here's the problem. The points are right now 638 to 640, uh, 50. So the OP forces have taken the lead. And I just realized by saying this that... Was I wrong all along? Was I seriously just being confused by these colors? Because that can happen to streamers. Uh, I could have been confused and Wargaming Pay to Win was the one actually having the points ticking in their favor all along. Which is probably the case because they had the C cap. I think I was misleading you this entire fucking time. The OP was the one who needed to do some pressure and who the time was working against them. In the meantime, the, that Des Moines in, uh, what is that, in A cap has finally went down. Ooh, okay, so Wargaming Pay to Win is the one actually leading on points. Bloody, like, this is the team that you're looking at, these are the points, but then you see red and you're thinking like, this. Ah, I hate that mistake. Okay, my apologies there. Turns out that, um, turns out that the Wargaming Pay to Win was basically leading with points all the time. Maybe? Or am I super confused right now? I don't know. Wargaming Pay to Win is leading on points right now, but OP is down about 90 points and they are capping B and they're making a final push. There's less than three minutes left in this match and everybody's looking super, super skinny on HP. This Moskwa is caught. This Moskwa is now caught in being rock and scissors. I don't think there's an escape plan for this Moskva. The best thing that the OP can hope for is undetected capping B, and they're super close to it, actually. If they can take B... Oh, they don't have time. I don't know. They need to find a way to save the Moskva, which is I don't think is gonna happen, and kill someone. Oh, if the Moskva goes down... Oh, I, don't, I think that's it for the OP. I think that is gonna be it for the OP. Yep, there we go. Killing them even blind. No! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That's not it! That's not it! OP just pulled a kill on the Hindenburg. OP just pulled a kill on the Hindenburg. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. OP now has the advantage in points and the caps. Oh, they were getting paid to win. Definitely needs to put down this Moskva here if they want to stay in the fight. There's one and a half minute left. There is one and a half oh, minutes left to this game. Even if this Moskwa goes down, two caps to one. I'm not sure. Minute 15. I am not sure if that's going to be enough to win. We will see. 200 HP. Look at them. They're fighting like bears. It's been such a stiff match. Is, is, is Ferret actually going to go down before Pac-Man? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, that is... Oh, my... Okay, simultaneously. Simultaneously goes down, but that is still not good for Wargaming Pay to Win. They're now down 60 points and are getting lost more and more and more. 
Oh, my roar. This is not good. This is not good. Is this the end for Wargaming Pay to Win from this... For this tournament? Even the music has completely stopped. Oh, the Montana is taking a lot of damage. There's 25 seconds left. Wargaming Pay to Win needs to make a miracle shots here. They need like, I don't know, one kill is probably not enough. I think they even need two kills. Zao! Montana blabs the Zao. These guys have 10 seconds. I think that is it. Oh, the guns! Look at the guns! The rear guns are not even looking where they're supposed to be looking. Three seconds, two seconds. Shots are out for Zao, but they're never gonna make it. The game is over! Oh my god! OP has just won 2-0! Versus Wargaming pay to win. I'm so sorry for misleading you all this time. Who was leading in the beginning? But Wargaming pay to win. The previous champions are now out of this tournament completely. 2-0. That is it. We have the next quarterfinalists. OP, GG. Well played to them. It was an extremely stiff and tough uh, a, a match. It was hilarious how little killings there were you could clearly see that the both teams are much better than the previous we have been watching uh, uh that there's a lot more calculations and strategy and all that stuff happening right now because if you, if you take a look at how many killings there were uh it was happening in the games before like we had an entire game finish in eight uh, seven and a half or eight and a half minutes this game lasted fully 20 minutes which is i think the first um, the first game that I've casted so far that was down to the zero seconds left. And... Wow, the OP has managed. If they can put out the Wargaming Pay to Win, which did look a bit unsecure there in a couple of... Um, in a couple of situations there. I mean, the first the first time we casted them in, in round of 32, they were a bit shaky. Uh, they were a bit shaky, but they managed to pull it back in this uh, and they won in the second game It was a clean win and then they came here and they were looking a bit shaky But they didn't manage to pull it back in the first game and they did and they kind of lost it there at the end In the second game and now the chat is catching up to me saying yo, bro. You were very wrong <laughs> My apologies one more time for completely misleading you on how the games were actually looking uh, up till the very end, it can be very misconception, very misleading those uh, those bars and those points. Uh, GG will play to the OP and the Wargaming pay to win. Very sad to see the the champions go uh, so soon. Uh, many congratulations to OP. Very very good performance, and looking forward to seeing them more. And uh, good luck to both uh, in the future. Of course, it is now over for Wargaming Pay to Win for this tournament, but we will be seeing them probably in the tournaments to come. And OP, well, they they have proven to be a tough resistance. Definitely a tough resistance. Um, that is going to be the last game that we're going to cast for today. Um, we have went through the 